So today, let me talk you through one of my favourite plugins, the FabFilter Pro Q3 EQ. This has to be one of the most intuitive and easy to use EQs out there. So the plugin works from 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz, a human listening range. Then just some basic functions for you. If you just double click and then go up or down, you have your bog standard a bell filter. Or if you do it in the corners, you have your high pass or your low pass. Down in the control panel, we have the Q, which is basically how wide or narrow the cuts or boost will be. And we can change the band of frequencies using the frequency control and the gain here. Then on the left of the control panel, you have all the different EQ filters to choose from. Now, this is my favorite thing about the Pro Q3. Hover your mouse over the WAV form and it will freeze frame it. And it comes up with these little yellow frequencies which are popping out. So I could treat them really easily by clicking and dragging. So this is pretty cool as well. If you go down to analyzer, click on this, you can see all the other WAV forms from the Pro Q3 on my other instruments. But look at these little red lines here. This is telling me all the clashing frequencies on those other instruments. The other thing with the analyzer is you can click on another instrument that's running the Pro Q3 and you can compare two instruments at the same time. So it's like the kick in the bass where you can carve space out. Now let's take a look at the EQ match function. So if we click on this and then go up to the side chain and you want to select an instrument that you want to copy the EQ of basically. Then we click on reference and we want to select external side chain and then we're just going to click the record button of the instrument that we want to match. Then we click on match, but what we want to do is have much more bands on this. So we're just going to slide this and then click finish. And as you can see, it's now match the EQ. Of course, it looks mad. So what we need to do is just basically tame some of these peaks. Also unique to the Pro Q3 is that we have another option to use linear phase in something like mastering. So it's really handy to have that at the bottom. We can also do some mid-side EQ here. We right-click, go down to stereo placement and side. You can see the little S has appeared. And now we are just treating the sides of the frequencies. You can use mid-side to boost the sides of pads and also use the mid to boost things like bass. So we can also make this dynamic. So we right click and go to make dynamic and we can just pull down the range here and then we go to the threshold at the bottom and then we can set it here. So this is a handy option if a static EQ just won't do the job. I've been using the Pro Q3 for a number of years now as my go-to surgical EQ. You just can't get better in terms of an EQ plugin. Thanks for watching, guys.